today our topic is bullying by your own friends so all of us are this tender age we must have felt bullied once or some time in life so is there any instance that you both remember that you have been bullied by your own friends would you see have you had any swift memory of the fact um honestly i haven't uh, i have been lucky that ways i haven't been bullied by my friends and i feel you know there are lots of types of bullying what happens is it's not just physical bullying verbal bullying even the name calling even making fun of your personal jokes is also considered as a part of bullying so luckily i won't say that something serious has happened or something has happened to me which you know affected me really badly but yeah definitely people you know do make fun and uh, i think even the tone of the tone of the way you talk sarcasm taunts being rude that also comes under bullying and i think that is one thing jo aap mein kutika sab karte hi hai face and sometimes hum bhi wo tone kar lete hain you when we are really angry or you know frustrated so i think that is also considered as bullying because you never know what is going in on other person's mind and what might hit them so in that ways yeah of course everyone has been bullied in that ways but luckily not otherwise exactly i feel uh, nobody consider the fact ki name calling is a big thing like if i'm i'm very thin so i'll be calling kitni patli hai if somebody is fat kitni moti hai this little small line can just scar you do you believe that yes definitely this is one thing even i have heard kritika but must have also heard this is one thing I'm, like i said it is very common and uh, sadly it does not start from the outside world it starts within your family true very right. true so this is so normal that everybody thinks isme kya hi hai bura bolne ke liye hmm right so people do say that and i think uh, of course it's a part of bullying but again we need to just stop this now it's high time patli hai kitni moti is also enough now i mean yeah i think it should be totally abolished and kyunki bahut ho gaya exactly bahut ho gaya apne apne aap pe dhyan do exactly so kritika let's come up to you so have you ever faced any sort of bullying by your friends or your peer group um yeah uh, i when i was in uh, class 9th and 10th so i was the only girl in my class so i used to get bullied a lot by my um classmates so they used to um, do very small things but again uh, unke liye it was small but it used to affect me a lot uh, they used to make fun of me at times so it for them it was just for fun but for me it was uh, you know somewhere it is affected me a lot i still think about uh, that time and you know how difficult it was for me to go through that time but um, i think i went through it it was tough but uh, yeah so i i also think that um is the video um stuck no no i can hear you properly yeah. you're pretty much okay okay yeah so um so as you guys were talking about uh, how you know um taunting and sarcasm all of this is also considered as bullying so i also think that gossiping is also you know one of the major forms of bullying people you know gossip a lot they make uh, assumptions about other people even i have gone through it people have you know make uh, have made assumptions about me not even you know they've not even uh, talked to me once but they oh, have this no, assumption they have them exactly yeah so i think even that is a form of bullying where you know they just gossip and it is it is it feels bad at times yeah because they're assuming something that you were not you're not and they're making you feel something that you can't be and right something that hurts the most and i totally agree about the fact and right. uh, then you look you like stuck ki should i like give an explanation and uh, then you think that why should you give an explanation so there's this dilemma that what should you do so it's yeah. very torturing mentally 
so as you said ki it does affect your heart and your mind mostly mentally and sometimes bullying could be physical as well so right. physical also. so would you give some tips that what ways that a person can overcome it like friends or something who are very near and dear to us they are second family and when you bullied by them who you wanted to feel most comfortable around so what do you suggest what should a person do see i think the first thing uh, that a person can do is share uh, talk to anybody they feel comfortable with because if you know somebody is not uh, sharing their feelings is just hiding it inside it it piles up right because there's there's a lot of things going on and everything is just piling up and eventually it has to you know come out so um confide in somebody you, who you can trust you can also uh, confront uh, the bully uh, if the person is thinking that you know the the things things are going out of hand they can definitely confront them ask them to stop right yeah. you can also um, help them uh, support give them support provide them emotional support that is uh, a lot of uh that is a lot helpful i think and, it's also uh, important to you know set boundaries be it with our friends best friends family members or even in a professional setting it it is very important to set boundaries because if you allow that person to you know enter your inner shell or you know you're allowing that person to be around you it's very important that you make them realize and understand like this is the limit this is the jokes that we can accept and you know laugh at each other or enjoy at that moment but again never make uh, fun of their personal event situations that might have hurt them in the past or something that is very personal to them as friends also we tend to do that so we can you know we should actually we should point out at every point of time whenever you feel that this is you know not acceptable hum khud bhi haske usko ek tarike se encourage karte hain so that is the point when we need to st- stop and not participate with our even if even if it's our best friend i feel jo cheez buri lag rahi hai aap usi time pe point out karo because if you are allowing that person to you know talk about it or speak about it you are kind of encouraging them you are just rewarding their faulty behavior if you see yeah right? so it will it will only increase yeah so you will definitely that won't lead you to any good so it's very important to stop that person at the right time yeah very important and this is something that will help you being bullied when you're bullying and if you're stopping the person it will help you out because you're restricting him from doing that and you're giving him in the lesson that this is something that is not acceptable to you and you don't want that person to do that to you yeah i think standing up is very important and when it comes to your friends you need to make them realize about the fact that you are not liking something that they are doing to you right because yeah. as friends also sometimes we also think ki theek hai usne bol diya it's okay but it's not okay yeah it's absolutely not okay wo cheez aapki personal hai you have trusted that friend and that friend is making fun of that particular thing so obviously it's not okay just because they are friends we also you know tend to allow them ki theek hai isne bola hai so that's fine but it's not so setting boundaries is very important and meanwhile we have to you know stop the person at the right time yeah kyunki just because you are your friend hai and just because they are close to you they, are, they don't have the right to make you feel that way you right. might not say it in front of many people so you it is about the fact that you will not say it in front of many people because you don't want people to think that you are getting hurt aisa hota hai sometimes you know in a group and somebody is saying two things and you don't want to point out that person to say that fact that oh i don't like it फ्रेंडर <laughs> maybe days have crossed since that event took place you can again go back to that person and tell him or her that you know this was mean i felt very bad one week ago but please don't repeat it now 
it's important to speak up for yourself otherwise the world is speaking for you anyway Exactly. Yeah, and I think this is the one of the main reasons why bullying my friends is totally ignored at times because we just think ki friends hi to hai mazak hi chal raha hai but we forget ki how hurtful it gets for somebody so my next question to you pratika is how would you think how is a person affected in what ways a person is affected when he or she is bullied by his friend what are the ways or some signs or symptoms okay so see when a person is generally bullied um, you know they feel very bad about it they feel they feel sad they feel they feel lonely even right but uh, when it comes to friends i think all of this is multiplied uh, they feel a lot uh, bad i would say because if some stranger says something to me and my friend says something to me i my whatever my friend has said will feel more hurtful to me Exactly. Right. Uh, I think we also feel, you know, helpless at times because we think, again, we think that there are friends. So what can we do, or what should we do? हम कैसे कुछ बोल सकते हैं? Will they will feel bad? They won't talk to us. Uh, it will affect our friendship. So all of these things comes in mind, and we feel actually helpless and clueless about what to do, how to do. I think somewhere or the other, a person. starts feeling guilty as well that maybe you know somewhere deep inside maybe it's my fault only that you know this is happening to me try to make you more conscious because right. you are trusting your friend you are sharing something very personal to you maybe you are sharing something really traumatic also that might have happened with you and that person is just questioning you or just making fun around people of that particular event so definitely you will also have trust issues later on in life you won't be able to trust your friends your family or anybody else for that matter because at one point of time somebody has already made fun of it right so i think like pratika is telling us this definitely it will set you back it i think you will start questioning yourself your confidence will drop down and you will always feel that somebody is judging you for exactly. the person you are right so these i think these are some symptoms we can say that are when you feel bullied when you are talking about friendship even in relationships it has some sort of friendship do you feel a person can be bullied in a relationship as well by her or her partner yes, definitely like uh, in a relationship also of course it starts from friendship yeah can if you are not setting the right boundaries okay and then you are going into a relationship like that's a more stronger commitment i would say Right, yeah. that requires setting boundaries, require uh, setting trust and every limit to it. But again, in a relationship also, if the let's say the partner is really dominating, okay, jokes apart, it, you know there are movies on it, of course, but mm-hmm. it is not really acceptable. Exactly. At point of time, that I think everything should be equal in a relationship also. If the partner is continuously dominating you, suppressing you whenever you want to, you know. say something you are just making the other pe- per- person feel very low about it usme wo confidence rahega hi nahi baat karne ka everything is being done by the partner everything is done according to the partner so again it's very important to have the right boundaries be it in a friendship or relationship yeah i strongly believe that uh, that boundary setting either it's a friendship or a relationship is very right. important so kritika what is your view point in that like what kind of bullying can happen in a relationship or is it true that is bullying in a relationship or not see i think uh, um, again as you she said that uh, the boundaries are very important mm-hmm. and you know there are trust issues as well okay but um, i also think that uh, if there is physical abuse as well even that is what is considered as uh, bullying so if you know your partner is not understanding uh, you know what your physical needs are and they just uh, you know forcing things on you uh, exactly. i think you should be able to open up uh, about, about it, it. Exactly. and if not they just forcing things on you then uh, i think even that is a part of uh, bullying within relationships because that is you know something which is uh, not uh, talked about much 
because we think that you know that there are partners and they can do it it's their right but um again it's your choice after all it's you you have to decide yeah so, i think respecting uh, respect should yeah, be there definitely. from the side it should be equal otherwise definitely chahe wo you know male partner ho ya female koi bhi ho agar unko wo opportunity mm-hmm. nahi mil rahi ki wo apne liye baat kare ya apni needs ko clearly put out kare i think wo ek long term ke liye it's not healthy yeah i also believe that yeah wow. how can you identify if a person is bullied in the relationship is there some sign or symptoms that the person gives that oh i've been bullying or feeling bullied in the relationship see uh giving examples from our own lives also if see not about me i'm talking about my friends here if they feel you know their partner is uh, not treating them right they are just you know always fighting theek hai fight may be what you do is you argue you say a lot of mean things so that itself is a sign of bullying right like we said name calling using sarcasm using a rude tone always putting out the the person like he is the he or she is the most uh, wrong person in this world so these are some signs and symptoms where when you get to know that your friend is being bullied in a relationship theek hai hame hum bahut easily bol dete hain ki inka to roz ka hai but it is very mentally taxing for that person जिसकी फाइट हो रही है अपने पार्टनर के साथ डेफिनेटली वो आपका फ्रेंड है वो आपको आके बताएगा कि दिस इज हाउ आई फील एंड यू नो वो मेरी नीड्स को रिस्पेक्ट नहीं करता है या फिर वट एवर आई टेल हिम इज अ जोक फॉर हिम अगेन ये कुछ चीजें होती हैं जो एज फ्रेंड्स आपको बताते हैं आके एंड मे बी वो रोज हो रहा है डेफिनेटली हम फ्रेंड्स हैं हम उसको लाइटली लेंगे बट ये क्लियर साइंस ऑफ बुलिंग होते हैं बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली इट्स इफेक्टिंग योर मेंटल हेल्थ ठीक है it is affecting your mental health aapko bahut apne bare mein low feel hota hai like we said you start questioning yourself and ultimately the relationship so wo hi hai ki agar ek clear conversation ek mutual respect na ho and like we say tamiz se baat na kare ek do log to definitely wo ek factor hota hi hai like you said ki jaise friends bolte hain inka roz ka hai that is also some sort of bullying ki agar somebody is facing some relationship problem to friend is saying inka roz ka hai and he is not treating the person right he is not understanding hum like bol denge ki easily ki inka roz ka hai but yeah. imagine yourself in that situation yeah exactly that was my point agar aap matlab hum bhi agar kisi ko bole Of course, हम वो सिचुएशन में नहीं है तो हम वो इंटेंसिटी फील नहीं कर सकते suffering uh, from bullying then uh, i think we should we need we need to be very observant exactly right because most of the times uh, somebody who is uh, being bullied they you know might not show it yeah they put on a face to tell the world that yes they are happy but inside uh, they are facing uh, the bullying especially when they're bullied by their own friends i think that is something uh, which is you know uh people tend to hide because it feels you know we ought to say that okay i've been bullied by my own friends so um i think we should be very observant to see that is that person actually happy or putting on a happy face uh try and talk to that person maybe you know if you're talking to them you're making them comfortable they share things with you that yes ye ye problems bhi hai and uh, just you know try uh ki and see that is that person uh has starting again questioning uh, himself or herself uh is there a decrease in their uh, you know self confidence or self esteem so i think all these things are uh, some things which we can you know very uh, primarily observe in the person and see for the changes see if there's you know any sort of problem With definitely being friends with that person you can see that the friend is you know suffering or is feeling low so definitely you can try to talk them about it ki you know what is happening and how are you feeling about it kyunki ab wohi hai bari bari koi nahi samajhta ek cheez ko to fir log like we said wo ek 
स्टेप बैक ले लेते हैं दे डोंट टॉक मच अबाउट इट दे जस्ट गो इन साइड देर शेल एंड फिर वो शेयर नहीं करते हैं लोगों के साथ चीजें राइट जनरेशन So do you feel we have friends on our social media? We have friends on our Instagram. Every picture needs to be uploaded, or whatever you're having needs to be on internet. So do you yeah. think somehow whatever you put up and you feel that you feel bullied by your friends as well, like because you are surrounded by your friends on social media, you feel there's some sort of bullying that happens on the internet as well? Okay, so are you asking about ourselves, like? Our photos and our friends. Yeah, your own photos or people around you. Yeah, I think again, I'm uh, making fun, but I think that fun. Luckily, again, I, like I said, I haven't been bullied that way. Uh, fun comments are fine, but of course, I like again, I, I have been lucky that way. Nobody has really commented anything mean or funny on my. Of course, funny it is there, of course, because you know friends. But uh, on Instagram also, I think I haven't faced that much. So would you could you give some reference or anything you feel? Have you seen somebody who's being bullied or? Yeah, I have seen the uh, you know the famous bloggers. Yeah, even they are being bullied every day. वो कुछ भी करते हैं people सब किस चीज से उनको problem होती है. I think चाहे वो कोई भी हो, be it a blogger, be actor, कोई भी हो उनको एक कोई ना कोई ना कोई बात pick कर लेते हैं उनकी and they just start bullying them. ठीक है, बींग बींग एन ऑडियंस वी ऑल्सो वॉन्ट दैट जिस कॉन्टेंट क्रिएटर को हम फॉलो कर रहे हैं दे अपलोड कॉन्टेंट एंड पोस्ट एंड गेस्टडे और आई थिंक डे बिफोर येस्टडे आई डोंट नो इफ यू नो अबाउट यू राज पोस्ट ऑन एंगजाइटी दैट ही इज फीलिंग वेरी एंक्शियस एंड ही क्लियरली मैंशन इन द कैप्शन क्यू नो मैं जहां भी जाता हूँ एंग्जाइटी मेरे साथ जाती है बट Please give me time. Please bear with me. Content will come, but it will be good. So, see, it is very important that we also understand that he is also a human being, and his uh, mental health is also again it's very important. So, it's first priority. So, yeah, people do expect a lot out of other people, and uh, it's very easy for them to comment anything. Because for them, it's just a comment. How it is affecting the other person, they definitely don't care about that. Yeah, we don't we don't sympathize towards them. Exactly. So, Pratika, do you have anything to say on that note? Yeah, I was saying uh, that I definitely agree with the Doshi. We all witness this on a daily basis with, you know, in bloggers and influencers. But um, again, um, I think when friends comment something very, uh, you know, uh, mean or very rude, it feels bad that. Uh, Okay, I uploaded a picture. It was so nice, and why are my friends commenting like this? Ah, uh, why are they making fun of it? Why are they yeah. liking it? I think I look fine. This is things that I think before uploading the picture, will they like it? Will they know what? Will they anything mean on my Instagram or not? It will be less. I think yeah, that honestly, yeah. we expect our friends to you know comment like put good comments there, and instead they make fun. so definitely okay. feels bad because hum apne friends se to yahi expect karte hain ki they will put out good comments no matter what uh, because of course they are friends but uh, definitely aise hote hain uh, personal account pe aisa kuch nahi hua hai mere sir but i have read a lot of uh, comments just jo uh, what uh, mean pages jo hote hain aur ye sab pages jo hote hain even if you are tagging someone okay let's say if i'm tagging kritika also random people random guys would start commenting below that comment and would just say the most absurd things possible yeah so that is again bullying and yeah. instagram is a very easy uh, accessible uh, you know thing for them platform for them so definitely it's very easy for them to comment and just go and just throw that app right kisi ko nahi pata ki uski us insaan ki kya insecurity hai ya usne kis You know, किस माइंडसेट से उस इंसान को टैग किया था उन्होंने अपना कॉमेंट किया देन सच पीपल यू नो ऐसे अबंडेंस में मिलेंगे आपको लोग की कोई एक 
Ganda comment kar raha hai so people will start continuing in that you know chain only so this is one thing that happens this is one thing that i witness almost every day whenever i'm going through a meme page i mean it's really really mean Definitely. yeah this is like something that we have personally experienced so you know we we know how bad it feels because for somebody it was just you know for fun or it was just a comment but for you it it ruined your entire day so it it creates a lot of impact though we try that you know it does not impact us but this is something that you know we cannot control yeah. so definitely bahut bura lagta hai yes <laughs> So thank you, Kritika and Vidushi, for joining us for the live session. Devika, ma'am, thank you for bearing with us. We'll be joining for the session very soon. Just give me one minute. So thank you so much, Kritika and Vidushi, for joining. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Yeah, it just yeah, felt like a webinar. It just felt like three girls chatting on the group, and it's so nice. And I think our view, our viewers could have been related with that as well. Thank you so much, and thank we'll you. Be- it was a pleasure to be on your platform today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so bye. much for having us. Bye bye. Bye.